Ready, Monarchs fans? It's time for the Old Dominion Football Show with Bruce Rayner and Coach Bobby Wilder. Homecoming is a special weekend at every school, and Old Dominion is no exception. The festivities have changed drastically since football came onto the scene, but for the ODU players and coaches, this year's homecoming means a chance to rebound from some tough games these past five weeks. Could it happen? Let's find out. The Old Dominion Football Show starts now. I'm Bruce Rader along with head coach Bobby Wilder. Coach, homecoming Saturday is always a special day mm. on campus. And what a great day it would be mm. to come away with a win against Charlotte. Yeah, you're right, Bruce. Homecoming is, is special. This is our ninth homecoming uh, with football that I've been able to be a part of. And what's really interesting, Bruce, I've learned about homecoming is that your alumni come back. We're starting to have some football alumni, but the most common reaction we hear now is, wow has the campus changed and that's a that's a credit to our president john broderick administration would see like our athletic director people see the facilities they see the the new dining hall on campus the new art building the new education building they see what's going on with the new basketball practice facility our new weight room so there's so many things that are happening and the alumni are always excited to come back and see that now last week you took the long trip to dallas mm. to take on north texas you were 10-point mm. underdogs. You had a great third quarter, but the mean green sort of wore you down there at the end. They Yes, they did, Bruce. They're number one team in the West, top teams in the league. And as I reminded our players, tough times don't last forever. Tough people do. And what, what an unbelievable display by everybody in our organization. We got down 28-10 quickly in this game. Battled back, Bruce got it to 35-23 at the half, then took the lead in the third quarter, 38-35. And I'm just very proud of the way our kids competed and battled in this game. You always talk about the importance of explosive mm. plays, and yep. boy, did you get two of them last weekend. Wow. Thanks to Isaiah Harper from Grassfield High mm -hmm. School in Chesapeake. Not one, but mm. two kickoff returns for touchdowns. Yep. You don't see that very often anywhere, any mm -hmm. year in all of college football. No, you're right. You don't, Bruce, to have two of them. The first one, they had scored to start the game to take a 7-0 lead, and we score right away on that return. Just incredible blocking up front. Harp did exactly what Coach Bankins, our outstanding special teams coordinator, teaches. He started on the on the numbers, took it to the hash, then to the sideline, and, and kept it right up the sideline. And then on the second one, Bruce, they, they pinned him into the right side. He cut it back to the field, something that Ted Alexander and I covered on our anatomy of a play, if people are interested in seeing that, was how that was blocked. But that was a big boost to us in this game. We needed that early. We watched kickoff returns, punt returns, and we think it's mm -hmm. just a matter of a kid sees an opening and goes. But right. there is definitely mm. a practiced process to those mm. returns. Yeah, there sure is. And with North Texas, Bruce, they had two outstanding cover guys on our right side as we look at it of their coverage. So we double team both those players to take them out. Now, when you double team two of the players, you're going to have some other guys on block. So we, it was schemed up really well the way Harper set it up, Bruce. He started to the left, then hit it to the right, kept two of their unblocked players out of the picture. you you got to have a plan going into it, but you definitely have to study who are the best cover guys coming down. Now, speaking of Isaiah, he mm. is, as I mentioned, a local player. You decided, mm -hmm. uh, he decided to at least stay home right. and go to college. How committed are you still to mm. recruiting in the Hampton Road 757 area? Oh, very much so. It always starts here, Bruce. We, we get out, try to watch as many high school games as we can. All nine of the assistant coaches, Bruce, have schools in this area they go to routinely. Before we leave this area, our coaches go go locally first, then through the rest of the state. Uh, more than half our team, Bruce, is from Virginia. We've got a lot of local players, and Isaiah Harp is a great example of the type of local player you want to recruit. Charlotte uh, comes in off of a bye week. Mm. Uh, the 49ers beat UAB the week yeah. before. Mm. Uh, UAB, one of the top teams in the West. Uh, mm. Coach Brad Lambert has mm. a fresh team now, and mm -hmm. he's ready to continue to build. Yeah, they, you mentioned the bye week, so critical at this point in the year with the number of injuries we have. They have some guys that are hurt for them to get healed up, and they're coming off that huge home win over a 5-2 and two UAB team that's looking like a bowl team. And what was really interesting about this game, Bruce, is that they were down 17 to nothing in the third quarter, battled back, cut the lead to 24-23 in overtime, and then ran a, a reverse pass 
two-point conversion to the quarterback to win it. Instead of kicking and going for the second overtime, they were aggressive and went for the win. All right. When we come back, he's one of the elder statesmen. Senior tight end Melvin Vaughn joins Brian Parsons in the one-minute drill. You're watching the Old Dominion Football Show. I'm Brian Parsons. Welcome back to the Old Dominion Football Show, the one minute drill. And we have senior tight end Melvin Vaughn here. Melvin, this is your fifth year here, so you've seen a lot of changes. What's the biggest difference between FCS and FBS? Uh, I would say speed and the opponent sizes and speed. Bigger, faster, stronger? Yeah, bigger, faster, stronger than the FCS. Are you bigger, faster, or stronger than you were when you first got here? Yes, sir, I am. Who is the biggest prankster? kind of class clown on the team? Jeremy Cox. I have to say Jeremy Cox. Well, he kind of kept it under wraps when we talked to him. What are some of the things that he's done to, to uh, for him to earn that title? Uh, I actually caught right, uh, Jeremy taking a shower outside in the rain. Shorts, soap, and every day taking a shower. What do you do to get ready for a game? What is your mental preparation? Uh, usually I get mentally ready around Games on Saturday, I really get ready around Friday. And by Saturday, I wake up in game mode already, ready to play. I don't really listen to much music, anything like that. Melvin Vaughn is a senior from Chesapeake, went to Oscar Smith High School. Say goodbye to the Monarch Nation, Melvin. All right, Monarch Nation, peace. As Brian mentioned, Coach Melvin, another local recruit, a five-year player from mm -hmm. Oscar Smith and a big part of your program, it seems like, forever. Mm -hmm. Oh, he sure is, Bruce. He, he had a phenomenal high school career 2012 great senior year we we're fortunate to sign him 2013 Bruce as a true freshman he starts on that team with Taylor Heineke all those excellent receivers he started at wide receiver first game at East Carolina played 13 and 14 now he got the knee injury in 15 didn't play so he's in his fifth year and he is one of our one of our very good football players amazing he played with yeah. Taylor Heineke for two, two years, years. <laughs> and he's still playing all right when we come back we're going to talk about homecoming at Old Dominion. The Old Dominion Football Show continues. Welcome back to the Old Dominion Football Show. I'm Bruce Rader along with Coach Bobby Wilder. And Coach, homecoming is always a special weekend on campus. It really is, Bruce. And, and the way our people do it at Old Dominion is sensational. Everybody's welcome back. There's events for everybody, Bruce, whether it's a, a certain class or a certain college different organizations. We have an event for our former players. We don't have a lot of them, as you know, we're so young as a program, but Friday night we invite the players back. They can come to practice if they want Friday, but we have a, a social event to get all the guys back, keep them reconnected because they built our program. They did the foundation of the program, so we always want the former players to be welcome back. And then Saturday, the homecoming parade, everything involved with it. I think Old Dominion does a first-class job with homecoming. Will the fans get an opportunity to maybe see some of the former players? Yeah, out? yeah. They will. They all come to the game. They'll all be out in the tailgate before the game because they love to get around and they know so many of our fans. That's that's one of the things I love about Old Dominion is the players are connected with the fans and when they graduate, they want to come back and be with them. All right. The homecoming parade on Hampton Boulevard begins at 11 o'clock Saturday morning. Have a great homecoming weekend, everyone. Good night.